So for most of us, the time when the sense of smell really comes to life is that moment when you walk into a coffee shop and you get that burst of, of rich aromas. Today we're going to try to tap into that sense of what actually happens in your nose and what actually happens in your brain when you smell coffee. The nose, uh, you have nasal passages and you can inhale and suck air up through. And when you're inhaling that air, there's going to be odor molecules that are, are being sucked in with it. And the molecules kind of flow over the surface of the tissue in your nose. It's called an epithelium. That tissue has got uh, a series of proteins called odor receptors. Odors bind to receptors in our olfactory epithelium. And then we get both a representation of the odor identity, so what we're smelling, as well as the strength of the odor. People all the time talk to me about being nose blind, and it's actually an adaptation process. So it happens um, in all sensory systems. Um, if you've been around the same stimulus for a long period of time, you actually adapt to it, or you don't attend to it as much. So um, we can all imagine being in a classroom and hearing a fan going, but after a while, you don't really notice it anymore. If you've ever gone on vacation and come home and thought, gosh, my house smells, the house didn't change, you did. Your olfactory system adapts. It's constantly changing to sort of block out the things that are constantly smelling around you. You smell it all the time, you become less sensitive to it, uh, and that way you become more tuned to things that are different. That may be partially anatomical. The, the structures in the brain that process odors are a little bit different in how they connect to the rest of the brain than most of the other senses. But part of it is just that smell is complicated and it provides sort of a backdrop for our lives and all the things that we do.